Hello everyone, it's Sue from Crafts to Enjoy. Welcome to my craft room today. Um, every now and again, I, I make, I, I kind of go a bit, a bit crazy with my cards and this is going to be one of them. So I make no excuses now, we are going there and we're going there proper. So I've got a friend to make a card for and I know that she likes pigs. So I've got a list here, what should be on the card. So of course it's going to be some sort of raffia floor, a glitter ball, pigs on the edge, a dance floor or something, pigs with tutus, crowns, necklaces, a cake, possibly bunting and tiaras and a crown. So I think that's quite a lot of going on with. So um, it's a slightly longer video today than normal, so we're just going to get going. And yeah, it, it's it's a bit crazy. So I've decided to um, use a crumb cake base because it's gonna my party's gonna be in the my pig in party's gonna be in the barn. So and then I'm going to um, ink up. This is the, the wooden. What was it called? I don't know what it's called now. Hardwood. There you go. Hardwood. I've, I'm, I'm surrounded by product in, in my craft room today. So um, yes, I'm gonna use my stamparatus. Sorry, I've got so much on my desk, I can't get to anything. So, yeah, we're just going to ink that up. And I'm, I, want, I want it to look as if it's kind of like a barn effect on the background. That's what I'm making here, hopefully. So, and I want... the but the but I've put it in the fold at the top. So that's going to be, hopefully, my... Oh, it's not come out very well. Let's just go over that. I bet that I don't make me not. There you go. That's the wonder of um, having a stamper artist because obviously you can go over it if you miss anything or well, doesn't come out quite what you want it to be. So, and then I just want to go over it again to get the other half of the card because it's quite a big card we're dealing with here. So I'm just going to line that up. I'll try and line it up as best I can. I'm not too worried about it, but um, it does need to be a little bit um a little bit of a background so you know it is a barn so you know who knows what's going on in this barn all sorts of crazy things going on in this barn today so i'm really hoping that's gonna work and there we are not too bad at all Woohoo! i'm pleased with that um I don't use my stamper artist very often, to be honest. So uh, I'm going to take that piece out. I hope you can see me there. And I'm going to put the magnets back because they are really, really strong, strong magnets. But they, they, they sometimes you can't get hold of them. But these ones are quite good because they're a bit larger. They're a bit more to sort of keep hold of. So, yes, like that. Get the floor out of the way. So that's my kind of background done. Then I needed to put on some well a, a barn floor really so I'm kind of thinking that we needed to have something like raffia or something there so I'm gonna I fortunately in my in my craft room I had a bit of a scrap of raffia or got a little bag of raffia that's been up here for goodness knows how long so I'm going to I'm gonna use some red tape um and let's put that out of the way and I'm gonna just put I have some raffia that I've had in a bag I don't know where I got it from even obviously this is my raffia it's quite handy for things like um at easter time little chicks sitting or something like that's quite cool but i've had it a long time so where it came from i really can't remember so i'm going to take that off the the edge of that the red tape then i'm going to try and put a bit of sort of raffia along the bottom or a raffia bit i know that may not kind of go and I'm not too worried if it um, needs a couple of layers of it or whatever we're going to have to do. And obviously because it's red tape, I'm just going to pull that up and just put a bit of a layer on there. So it looks a little bit... And if I have to fill in a bit, it's okay too. If that has to have a little bit of an infill, that's fine. It's nature. Well, it's my, well they're not very nature really. My, my pigs when they're finished will not look very much like nature. But there we go. <laughs> so there we go. That's my kind of floor bit done on my background done in of the barn <coughs> oh sorry um then get those out of the way so then i'm going to use this little piggy 
This is one of my absolute favourites from the current catalogue. It's been around a while now, but I just love pigs. <laughs> my pigs have had quite a journey um, over the time that this has been in the catalogue. So, yeah, I love these little piggies. They've done all sorts of things. So, yes, my voice goes a bit funny when I say that. Um, so, I've, I've, ahead of time, I've um, stamped them out. And my idea is to have sort of five piggies. And yes, one does have a little dress, a, li a little sort of skirt. I've just done her skirt. So look, I, she does have, she had to have a little skirt on because she, it, it's, I think it's her birthday. So yes. And of course, for the cake element, we needed a cake. So I have used the, um, where's it gone? Piece of cake and the matching punch I have. So yes, there's a bit of cake in there on a little, and I thought I needed a table for my um, my cake, really. So we have a little table going on. I'm gonna try and make that in a minute. And I'm getting excited, so I need to just calm down a second and breathe, and um, yes, do the next part. So then I thought, really, should there be a sty, a pig sty? Because is a piggy gonna be kind of on the edge of the card sort of looking in a bit, kind of thinking what the earth's going on. How big does it need to be, the little sty? So I've cut out from, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? I am absolutely surrounded by product here. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, hang on, is that it? Yeah, that's the one. It's called the Wood Crate Framelets. So I've only used the, the, the section of it, this section here. And um, I was going to put a little star on there, but I wasn't quite sure until I started to put it together how um, how much of the of the crate I actually needed. So actually, I can see now. I'm going to chop that down a little bit. And all I've done is just fold those bits back, but I don't think I need it. So I think we're going to just chop those bits off, and I'll have a, a little mini sort of star looking in from the side. And I don't know how big it needs to be really, but. You know, I quite like the fact that there, she's kind of that that lady there is looking in the sty. What I'm going to do is um, get a, a couple of snot dots because I like the snot dots, and that'd be quite quite good and quite quick and easy to use. And put those on the edge bit there on my sort of flap that's going to go around. I want it to look a little bit dimensional, but not like a th like a dimensional, two dimensional. Um, oops. Let's put it about there. There we go. And then oh, I'm just going to take that little pig out a second. And then I'm going to, actually what I'm going to do now is put some, on the edge here, I'm just going to put a couple of, of uh, glue dots with my pokey tool. And then I'm going to chop off the bit that I don't need. That'll make it look quite neat. So I'm just going to see where that's going to go. There and there. And then I'm just going to give that, I'm not going to, be too sort of taut so it looks as if it's a little bit sort of got a bit of an edge to it so I'm just going to turn that over and chop off those bits that I don't need because it's right the pig pen's right on my the edge of it so I'm going to put those bits in the bin so I think I'm not quite worked out what what pig is going to be where and on the scene there there are a couple of dancing pigs and yes one does have a dicky bow he does he does have a dicky bow because he, you know, why not? I got his dicky bow from the cookie cutter um, punch. I thought, I know I've got a bow somewhere, dicky bow. And just put a teeny slither across to make it look as if it goes across the back of his head. And of course, it had to have diamantes on it. Didn't it really? It just had to have some diamantes on it, you know. Uh, then I thought we need a glitter ball. The glitter ball is a circle I've just punched out. And I wanted to make it a little bit kind of domed. I'm not quite sure how domed we need it to be or again how big we need it to be. So that's there. And for the cake, we have a cake table. Um, there's a birthday cake and I'm going to put some candles on there somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do that. And I've found from the... Um, been all of our stamp sets today. I've been through, through quite a few different stamp sets. Uh, where's it gone? Oh, leaning forward. In the Better Together, there is a party hat. Perfect for my piggies. They're at a party. Why shouldn't they be wearing hats? So <laughs> I've got a couple of little hats there that I've done as well ahead of time. So um, 
yes it's just I think it's just more or less a case of just assembling it now but um, yeah we'll just have to see how we go um, so that's there and I was going to have two kind of pigs in the middle on kind of a bit of a dance floor thing going on and kind of a little bit of a glitter ball -y thing going on and I think I was going to have that one sitting in there wishing he was somewhere else there we go probably with a hat on and then the cake table to the left on the edge yeah I quite like that it's a little bit crazy <laughs> oh there's one little piggy there I don't know I've got an extra pig um, what should we do with him we could move him across uh, or we could put him in there I cut them out because I wasn't sure what I was going to put where but we could always turn it round put different pigs everywhere we could I don't know we'll see how it goes I quite like the three actually he just fits in there thought quite cosily we might sort of do it so he's sort of like about to come out well we never know <laughs> there we go hmm so yes that's where we're going <laughs> it's a bit zany I know um so I'm going to start gluing some of these down. I'll just grab some dimensionals as well. But there's For my cake table, I just want a little sort of salver or something, or a little sort of plate underneath it. So I've just grabbed it, literally a scrap of um, Miri card. I only need a little platter almost. So I'm just going to, from the top of that table, I'm just going to punch that out. Oh, it's gone flying. And then turn that sort of up that way so it looks like it's on a table sitting like that. I thought that looked quite cute on a little table. So I've used the same punch to make a, a table as well as that. So I'm just going to start gluing some of this down. I've got my lights on up here, but I don't think it's particularly great weather out there today. So apologies, I've got a bit of a shadow going on. So there's my cake table. There's my cake tray going on. I might have to grab my little tweezers. I've got some little pink tweezers up here. So that just helps you to position when it's fiddly bits like this it is. And I thought for my cake, I was thinking we might have it sort of a bit 3D'd. So I'm just going to pop, pop a couple of dimensionals on there. Oh, that dimension has gone over the edge. I'm just going to push that back with my nail. There we go. So we've got cake on a platter. Um, obviously, the cake does need candles, of course. I have just... I've done, I didn't know how to do it on the background. So um, that's going really fiddly. So I'm just going to see if we can get the stamp and stamp on some cake candles. I'm looking for my ink pads. Um, I hope I haven't got my head in the shot for you. There you go. So I'm just going to do that down. Oh, and there we go. And I'm just going to get the yellow quickly and do a bit of the yellow for the flames. Because I think there might be a little bit kind of... Actually, perhaps we'll colour those in pink as well while we're here. Um, I've just coloured the cake in. I did it on white. And I, I used uh, Melon Mambo and Berry Burst. Yeah, Berry Burst. So I could get a bit of Melon Mambo and just colour those in. So it looks as if they kind of go with the cake. There we go. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? So then we need a glitter ball. And I was just trying to make that a little bit more domed. So I just got my bone folder and trying to make it like a proper glitter ball. So that's quite a big one. I thought, well, if you're going to have one, why not? And my idea was to just to put in the centre one, um, one dimension or just to hold it. Because it's... it's um, we might need a uh, we might need a bit of chain as well. Oh. 
Yeah, and then I've got some linen thread to, uh, obviously the glitter ball does need to be attached by somehow, it can't just be floating. So I'm just gonna trim that off for a second and think about how we're gonna secure it. There we go, so that's not too bad. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's it. Um, oh, has that come off? Actually, I'll tell you what we could do. We could twist two round, couldn't we? <gasps> yes, and make it like a little chain. Oh, what a good idea that is. Don't know how we're gonna do it yet, but um, yeah, sometimes you see like a chain thing on them, don't you? I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do that, but we'll give it a go. We'll just twist it a bit. There we go. We'll just try, oh, twisting it a bit. There we go. I'll just cut that bit off a bit long there. There we go. They've got a bit of a glitter ball going on. That chain's there. So, does it look like a like a pig in party yet? <laughs> I think we're getting there. So then I, I'm just going to put my little characters. So they're sort of like... Yeah, she she does might and she she still needs a bit of a something on her head. A little bit of a party hat. So Yeah. What fun. So we're gonna put him there. Incidentally, I'm gonna quickly show you how I made him because he is the opposite, you'll notice, of her. So, um, there's a few ways that you can do sort of reverse stamping. I've just used, actually, my um, Stamparatus. So, that was quite cool. So, they are on there. The glitter ball's on there. And that little fella there needs to be in the sty. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on him and get him in place. What I'm also going to do is put half glue and half have a dimensional on there so we can make it look as if he's kind of a bit more 3d than what he actually is so he's anchored by his by his trotters and got a bit of dimension at the top half I'm just going to slide him in so you can sort of feel see his feet a little bit and his curly tail so he looks as if he's coming out but at the base there it's not adding more bulk to the so it gets a bit of a shadow going as well not sure about that pig what we're going to do with that one yet but it's coming together. <laughs> it's got candles, it's got cake, it's got most things I think we needed. And they just needed some party hats, I think. So do they need party hats? I think they do. I think they needed party hats. I think she may need a... What we might just do is give that in between the ears a little cut so we can fit a hat on better between the ears. That's better just for fitting of the party hat. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put another bit of dimensional on that one. Ah, uh, where's my hat gone? I just used um, the edge of the, of the um, dimensionals there because it's not quite big enough. So I needed a, I needed a hat on there. There we go. So he's got a hat on. Now all we need is him to have some sort of hat. I don't know how we're going to balance it. Might have to cut that again. And put, give him a hat. Yep, I think we'll do that again. My scissors on the floor, whoops. Now, she needs a um, something on her head because she looks a bit, well, you know, they, they've all got party hats on. She hasn't got anything yet. So uh, my idea was to give her a little crown. I think we're going to go for silver. And in the um, So Hoppy Together, worm betide, there is a crown. So we're going to use that crown. 
I've really just pulled out everything from all my stamp sets today. I love it days like this when we just, uh, I'm just gonna ink that up with some, st I'm using stays on because obviously we're going on to um, Miri, like Miri cards. So it can, it can be very slippery. So there is her crown. Oh, my scissors are on, my scissors are on the floor. Um, I'm just going to cut around that a bit. We might have to give her some gems as well because it is her, it's her birthday. So we might have to bejewel it as well. If I can find my gems. I'm just going to, oh, sorry, can you see? I'm just fussy, fussy cutting around this. It is a bit fiddly, I can't lie. But it is worth it when you see if they're finished. It's all the little detail, I think, sometimes in these type of cards. And this is certainly one of those cards that's got quite a lot of detail going on. So I'm just going to snip down. It's a bit fiddly. Yeah, there's no die for this, unfortunately. Ooh. But there we go. It'll be worth it when it's done. And it's looking lovely and... You get that little lovely feeling that you've made something that is really funny. And it's just, and my friend will absolutely love it. It will take pride of place on her mantelpiece. I know it will. Let's just clear my decks a bit. I've got stuff everywhere. Whoopsie. So, yes, yeah, so she needs to have her, her little tiara. I think I'll put it between her ears. Yes, I think we'll put it between her ears. Um, and we'll get another dimensional. My dimensionals disappeared too. That's my doorbell, but it can wait. So we're going to give her a um, dimensional crown. There we go. Just cut that bit off. I've just got a teeny bit of dimensional there on her crown. And I'm just going to kind of bounce it between her ears about there. There we are. So she has a crown on there. I think actually she does, she might need a little bit of bling on the top there. Where's the bling gone? Oh, I've lost my bling. Oh, that's not bling. I will find the bling in here somewhere. My, my desk is absolutely covered with stuff. <laughs> I will find it and put it on there. So I think that's almost it. I just need to sort out my chain for the top and how I'm going to secure them from to the back. I just want to twist those around and make it like a chain. I wonder if I can do it with my finger. There we go. Hmm. That's not too bad. I'm just going to secure that on the back with... What am I going to use? I haven't thought about this. Uh, oh, I don't know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a snot dot and put some over it. It also known as glue dots, but before the word glue dot came along, they were always known in the crafting world as snot dots. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there we go. That's that bit done, and I'm going to put some over it. So, there we go. That's my totally crazy piggy card, pigging party card. They've all got hats on. That's just really amazing. Well, I hope you like my card today. It's a bit more than what I normally do. It's a bit longer, so apologies for that. But obviously, I think it um, it's turned out really well. So I um, hope you like that. Um, and also, I do have a blog. You can go to crafts2enjoy.com. There's lots of inspiration over there. I blog weekly. So um, And if you'd like to buy any of the supplies that I've used today, apart from the raffia, obviously, I had that in my stash already. Um, you can you can go over there and there's an online shop over there so I hope to speak to you all very soon and um if you'd like to click on the don't forget to subscribe to my channel there so next time you'll be updated when there oh, there's oh, oh you can also press on the little bell so when the next time i um post a video you can get a little bell and you'll, you won't miss out on any of my videos hope to speak to you very soon take care have a lovely day have a crafty day Bye bye